Hey, guys, we're here at Sports Club Florida, and you're listening low at the Florida Citrus Sport High School Football Meet of the Day. And we're here right now with the assistant head coach of Cocoa Beach, Coach Nico. Coach, what's going on? Thank you for having us, man. Appreciate you. Man, we're definitely glad to have you guys coming to the media today. I know you guys are excited. Tell me about it. They got an opportunity to come and do media today, right? They seen it everywhere. And uh, what was their thought process coming on? What they were going through their mind? <laughs> Man, for our boys, they in the locker room, they'll, they'll get to talk in and be loud and all that kind of stuff. But bringing a side type of event like this, they all of a sudden clam up and they don't want to, <laughs> <You're right. laughs> they don't want to talk. <laughs> Well, you know what? That's why it's good to have this type of experience right here, especially going to go to the next level, going to college, going to do media day, going to do interviews, going to do it all. So doing this right here at the Florida Sister Sport is just amazing. So I'm hoping they're embracing the moment. Hope you're embracing the moment with them. But other than that, hey, let's talk about football a little bit now. Last year, what did you record last year? Uh, unfortunately, we underperformed and we went 3-7. and seven. Uh, A couple swing games, so we, we lost within – touchdown or so yeah but no you've been there now what about seven years they're going to your eighth year so we're still building that foundation right the foundation is there you're still building right so tell me what's the plan going for what are we doing to get to that next level as a team uh, we're just going to continue to to build high character mentally tough football playing machines i mean not machines but dogs <laughs> right exactly we don't want them to necessarily be robots we want them to show their character and go out there and have fun make plays right well all season is very important Yes, sir. Tell me about the offseason. What do you guys do in the offseason to prepare for this upcoming season so we can take that 3-7 and switch it around and go that 7-3 at least, right? It's a step, right. step by step, yep. step by step. Give me, Walk us through that offseason, what you guys been going through to get to that next level. Big big returning class, uh, probably the biggest in a couple years. Uh, of course, it starts with the weight room. We were lucky enough to uh, go to a Weber team camp just this past couple weeks. Uh, really kind of grew the boys up a little bit and, and – Short amount of time, so to right. speak. So they got a taste of talent all around. So they kind of know what to expect when we go to places like Volusia and outside of our county we don't play at. Mm -hmm. So so what, your co what you guys are doing, your head coach is who? What's your head coach? Ted Kimmy. So Ted, he, he put the guys in a situation or in a position to be better, to go compete with some of the best uh, player or team in the state of Florida. You could say that that taste of uh, – Getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. Oh, man, put him in that situation, right? <laughs> How you come out of it, the turn is oh, going to be on you, definitely, right? Right, right? But at least they get to see it. Oh, man, I did this, and I competed against some of the best team out there. I know what I need to do. Mm -hmm. I, my all-season work need to step up or not. My all-season work, I, instead of one day, let me get two or three days in. Let me go train outside. Let me go to, out there to the beach in Coco. Let's run up down that beach a little bit more. Was that the mentality you got when they left? Yeah, and they got great instruction from, from the – Coaches that, that were, were at Weber, they got to see three, four star, five star pro caliber talent that they went up against, and they said, "Yeah, we we incorporate beach workout days into our summer program. We we have them out there in in the water." kind of seal crunching. So. Right, right. Let's just say the hard work equals fun, but ain't no fun in losing. That's right. I mean, if they can just take that quote with them and just drive and run with it, I tell you right now, they'll start seeing the difference right there. It's all a mentality. It's all a mentality. It's all a mindset, right? That's a right. mindset of greatness, right? But, Coach, I know you got your player with you. You brought five players with you today, right? Mm -hmm. And I know you got one of your top players right here uh, with you right now. So, love to bring him in and tell me about him. Give us a little bit of a rundown about your top player right here. Uh, class of 2025, Kyler Co. number eight. He's played in the program for at least five five years that I can remember. I think he took one year off, uh, went and got himself uh, healthy and stronger and all that kind of stuff, came back to us in great shape, polished, and ready to contribute and lead the guys in, in the way that he's accustomed to, which has been awesome. Well, no, I'm glad to talk to him right there. Glad to talk to you, Coach. <laughs> Let me Coach. get out of the way. I'm going to bring him on in. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Hey, hey, man, thanks for coming, man. Colin, I got that right? Yep. Colin, let's talk about it, Colin. Let's let's get into it a little bit. This is You're going to be a senior next year? Yep. Senior next year, you've been playing in the program all the way through pretty much, right? Cocoa Beach out there grinding and working. Talk to me. What's the plan? We went 3-7 and seven last year. You know, I know you guys want to win. You went down to FCA, seen the winning ways, came back with different mindset. What's the plan for you? And then give me that plan that's going to roll off to your team. Yes, sir. So, plan for me right now is getting healthy. Um, off season training, been going really well. Uh, we've had a great summer. Uh, we've had great summer workouts. 
Uh, the plan for me is it's my senior year, man, so this could be the last games of football that I ever play. Mm -hmm. So I want to give it my all and make sure that I leave nothing on or leave everything on the field. Um, I think that my teammates feel the same way about it. Um, we just – we're going to have a great year, man. Right. Yep. Well, you know what? I mean, I just like I like your thought process, I like the mindset from them. You know, man, the teammates seem like they're on the same page, same accord, yeah. right? Let's try to make a difference. Let's try to make a change. Like I said, I was just telling Coach Nico, hard work equals fun, but ain't no fun in losing. The minute man ain't trying to lose nothing, yeah. right? That's the mindset. When they say minute man, what are we talking about? Minute man. When you – that's roast – I love how logo go across the chest. Yeah. Minute man. What did that stand for? And, and how much pride do they take in that name? Yeah, so um, Cocoa Beach has been a school for a very long time. I couldn't tell you the exact date that it opened. Uh, we've had a lot of great players come through our school. We used to be a really good program like 20 years ago. We had winning records. We would beat most of the teams in the county. Um, but to be a Minutemen to me and to all of our teammates is just to be a family. I think that that's the most important thing about our team is that we need to build a family and everyone needs to love each other. And um, you don't got to be best friends off the field. Like you don't got to hang out all the time. But when you're playing in the on the field together, you need to be family and brothers. You're right. Family brotherhoods for yeah. life. I like that right there. That's sure. a definition of a minute man. You heard it right there. So God, right, let's go ahead and bring the rest of minute man in. And um, and um, and Coach Nico, y'all come on around. And um, thank you guys for coming on the show. Hand on the game, we are not playing the same. No, we not looking to change. Hand on the road, they think we lacking the drive. Boy, you should stay in your lane. Put on the gas, I do not care if I crash. As long as I stick to the plan.